This is another Christmas ornament, another design that I've done in the past. I often like to do new designs, but I also wanted to get some Christmas ornaments uh, kind of cranked out here a little bit quicker. So decided to do a couple that I've already done before. This is one of those. Though I am carving this segment a bit differently. In the past when I've done this, this section was stippled just using some or a nail to put dots in the wood. So I'm trying a little bit different here. as usual, kind of fighting with the small piece of wood and trying to keep my hand out of harm's way. I've never had an accident to cut myself while cutting or while carving, but don't want to see what it takes to make that happen. So I'm always careful to try to make sure I'm aware of, aware of where my hand is and but if the knife does slip, it wouldn't wouldn't go into it. So I'm trying to tidy up this corner a little bit here. I want the two cuts to meet right there in the middle and the bottom. So I'll just bring a little bit more of this off. Cut that off to bring this edge in. Like that. And I'm trying out another new camera angle in this video. So let me know and comment what you think about it. If this is a good angle or if you prefer watching with the more straight down view or I've got another one that's a little bit more over in front. All right, easy parts done. Time for some of the smaller detail work here. Some of the details in this ornament are small enough, like the points on this star, that they can not necessarily show up the best if I leave it unstained. So this is going to be a good candidate for adding a stain, which adds contrast, and I like to use that for things that have words or otherwise just small details that don't show up as well they don't they're not big enough to really cast the shadows that chip carving otherwise relies on the shadows on this probably show up pretty well right now because of the intense and low angle light 
that I've got, which I use to carve. Shows up better on camera and also helps me to see more clearly exactly what's going on in the wood. So this is just a pretty basic nativity scene that I found online and modified a bit for chip carving purposes. And because these are kind of supposed to be rustic beams of wood, more like branches than 2 by 4s I'm going to intentionally kind of move the knife around as I carve to make it so that it's not perfectly straight edges, which usually for geometric carving I want very straight, but in this case going for this kind of rustic look, I'll intentionally give the knife some wiggle as I carve. I don't have any particular uh, flow or order that I'm really planning on doing this in. It's just kind of what feels good, what I feel like doing next, since it's kind of all together. A lot of irregular shapes since it's kind of a free form pattern. I'll do kind of that same knife wiggle here as I carve the oh, kind of thatched roof or straw roof, whatever this would be made out of. And when I do this on a bigger version, I uh, use the knife to carve out some of these little frizzy parts. And you know, I might work out here. I was wondering about using just the stab knife instead, but looks like this will probably work just fine.
And again, these details will really come out a lot more once it's stained. I think this is kind of a cool pattern just because it's very different from a lot of other chip carving that you see. It's somewhat precise in the level of detail and some of the specifics, but at the same time it has a very rustic kind of organic feel to it. Part of the adaptations that I made for this was to fill in these kind of interior lines for Mary and Joseph. They were originally just solid figures, which wouldn't be very carvable. So I just went in and kind of added these lines to follow and give some interesting shapes inside. little tiny bits on this design. And this manger here is going to end up being kind of the same as the roof where it's got some kind of frizzy hay sticking out. <laughs> 